think this is my LZ. It's plenty big enough. I've landed in smaller. The issue is, can I make the glide here from the mountain? Winds are forecasted to be seven miles an hour-ish on the surface. Uh, and then at 2,000 feet, it's about 20 miles an hour. And the mountain top is at 1,300 feet. So, uh, we'll see. I think it's gonna be perfect, but I'm still trying to figure out how the forecast translates to launch conditions in this area. So, uh, yeah, ditch the uh, bongo truck back there at the LZ. And we're gonna go scope out potential bailout sites in between here and the mountain. It's another potential bailout site, depending on wind direction. It's kind of light, but uh, you don't really want to land in this stuff. One, because it's someone's crops and it's also tall. That's waist high. I don't want to drag a wing out of there. This isn't bad though. I could definitely land here if I have to. And wind is coming uh, straight from the southwest. That's good. Oh yeah, and launches up there behind me. So anyway, uh, this is how you paraglide solo, hike and fly. You stash your truck at the LZ. Ride your Ride your electric device or your bicycle if you want to save some cash to the uh, trailhead entrance. Chain it to a tree. Uh, not that anyone would steal it here in Korea anyway. And then uh, hike up, fly down, get your truck, go pick up your bike or electric vehicle, and then uh, head home. It's fun. First time, first time hiking this trail. Uh, I've launched one other time from this site, but uh, I'll tell you that story of what happened on the way up. For now, I'm gonna get safely to the entrance of the trailhead and stash the unicycle. Last time, I've only flown one time here in Korea so far. And uh, I hiked up the same mountain, but on the other side, winds were out of the north. And there's like one small section where you can launch from. And the wind was the right direction, but it just wasn't strong enough. It was forecasted to be four or five miles an hour. And I figured 1,300 feet up, it would be stronger, but it wasn't. I get up there, lay the wing out, get everything ready, and I'm waiting for a thermal cycle. A little puff of wind comes, I try to inflate the wing, and it's just not enough. Long story short, I uh, stood on launch for two hours, attempting to inflate the wing in every thermal cycle that came through. And finally, after two hours, and around one o'clock, I caught one that was strong enough. Brought the wing up, it was just enough. I scraped trees on the way down. I don't have footage of it because after about an hour, I gave up trying to record. Gave up dealing with the camera while I'm trying to relay the wing out and stuff. So, I don't have footage of that. It wasn't exciting. It was a sled run. Uh, today we're trying again from the south with a forecast that's twice as strong and a uh, different trail. So it's new and exciting to me and I will give it another shot. Also, paramotor arrives and paramotor wings arrive in uh, two days. So, yoo -hoo. soon we'll be motoring around and all this beautiful calm weather that we have here very often compared to El Paso. So uh, stay tuned. Hopefully we'll hook a thermal and get above launch today. 
that's the goal. I'm also happy with just a sled ride and a safe landing. Need more wind. More. A safe landing, nice workout. Now let's uh, pack it up and go eat some lunch. Hey y'all, how's it going? Up there. Uh huh. 